Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine and today we're going to be talking about how each and every single one of us, every single person on this planet is a child of God and it is something that we must choose and we must actively choose every single day. Nobody can choose it for us because God does not have any grandchildren. So what do I mean by when I say God does not have any grandchildren? So for example, someone like St. Monica, one of the greatest saints ever, gave birth to another great amazing saint, St. Augustine. But St. Augustine, as most of you probably know, was a hardcore pagan, so far from his faith, so far from everything. And St. Monica prayed and she fasted and all that stuff for years and years and years and years. And St. Augustine, of course, did convert. And as much as St. Monica prayed for her son, he had to choose it. And yes, of course, praying for your children is so unbelievably important, but St. Augustine chose it. He chose to be a child of God. And I love that so incredibly much because I was once on a date with a guy and we were talking about how we grew up with our religion. And he goes, yeah, you know, I grew up very religious and my mom still goes to church every single week. Okay, great for your mom. She's fulfilling her Sunday obligation as a Catholic. But what about you? God does not have grandchildren. You need to choose to go to church every week. You need to choose to do his will. Nobody can choose it for you. There's this beautiful word in the English language that I feel like religious people use very often and non-religious people don't use it enough. And that is the word brokenness. Are we coming before God in our brokenness? What do we do with our brokenness? We need to just put ourselves at the feet of God, the Father, our Father. Am I going to choose in my brokenness to fall away from Christ? Is that the best alternative for me? Is that what I should be doing? Or are you going to choose to be brave? And are you going to choose God? I can't tell you how often we are mocked for our faith, right? Religious people are seen as the weirdos. Religious people are seen as stuck in the past. Religious people are seen as they don't follow the science on certain things, which is so unbelievably ridiculous. If you follow natural family planning, we're actually using science. We're not just masking issues with birth control, but whatever. That's another video for another day. Choosing God to be our father is a choice. If you had terrible parents and they chose to put themselves first before God and before you, I am so sorry. If you had fantastic, amazing parents who put you and God first and you are a cradle Catholic and you are continuing to go and do God's will, that is so beautiful and that is amazing. And you remember that you chose it for yourself. No matter how amazing your parents are, you are choosing your faith for yourself. Of course, thank your parents if they rooted you deeply in faith. Thank them. Please always thank your parents. Thank you for taking me to church every single week. Thank you for teaching me the Hail Mary. Thank you for teaching me the Rosary, all that other good stuff. Now, if you are a child and maybe you're too young to drive, right? If you, if you do not have a driver's license or you don't live walking distance to a church on Sundays and you are not able to go to church on Sundays because of your parents and the decisions they have made, that, that is not your fault. But once you become 18 and you've access to a car or you're able to walk to church or something like that, it really is on you. When you are of age to be an adult and get yourself to church, it's on you to make that decision. Right? You can't be like, oh, my mom didn't go to church today, so you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to go. No. No. If you have the ability to get yourself to church on Sunday, you need to go. Maybe your parents are great Catholics and go every week to church, but they don't go to confession. No. You still need to go to confession. You can't take your parents. You can never, ever, ever, not even just your parents, your spiritual parents, your aunts, your uncles, your grandparents, any, anyone you, you respect, no human should you place your total trust and faith into and be one, you can't have one human be an example of what type of Catholic you're gonna be or any kind of person. They will always disappoint you. You can never put people on a pedestal. All you do when you put people on a pedestal is they fall off. That's it. You know the rules. Do the research. This is this is something all of us also need to do, all of, especially my generation of millennials. We need to be curious. So please, you guys, do the research. Know what it takes to be a practicing Catholic and do it. And you can do it. It's. I know it's very easy for me to say as someone who lives in North Jersey and there are Catholic churches everywhere. Literally, literally, there's like four churches within walking distance. Of. And if you are sitting in your brokenness right now, Fly to Jesus Christ, fly to God the Father, fly to Mary, your mother, 
and trust yourself to Jesus through Mary, his mother. I say this Mary part and then Protestants get mad and get mad in the comments and I'm just gonna delete your comments because I am not an apologetics channel. This also goes in certain ways if you are married and you have a very beautiful, deep religious spouse and then you yourself are not religious. You can't just depend on, oh, my spouse is praying for me. She'll get me into heaven. Yes, they are helping. Like how I pray for my friends and family members who are far from the churches, I pray, please melt your, their hearts. Melt their hearts, help them to be open to the graces of God. Help them to be open to your divine presence. Help them to choose you, Lord. Okay? Please help me choose you every single day. God, you are my father. I choose to believe. Yes, it is crazy what we believe in sometimes. I am totally aware of the fact that it is so confusing sometimes. And I try and do as much research as possible into this. And yet I'm still so confused sometimes about the Catholic faith, but it's so beautiful. And it's just the core parts. Oh, now I'm riffing. The core thing we need to believe. And this is so clear to me is that Jesus is present in the Eucharist. And I choose to believe that because I have read John chapter six. Again, I have another video on it right here if you wanna watch. Sorry, this is not where I meant to go with this, but it's all right there. And God is my father, you know? All right, you guys, can you let me know in the comments below how you pray for your family members who are far from the church, how you choose God every single day in your lives? Yeah, let me know in the comments below your thoughts on that. If you could give this video a thumbs up, hit the bell and hit subscribe so you never miss one of my videos, I will be so grateful. So that, that really helps out the algorithm. I, I really, really appreciate it because I'm trying to grow this channel. I have over 515 subscribers now. I just, I can't believe it. I'm absolutely loving making these videos, but yes, please. I'm still learning the settings on my new camera. I'm still learning the settings. So if the lighting doesn't look fantastic, I mean, look, this, I can't figure out the natural lighting. So I'm, my friend's gonna give me a ring light. It's a whole thing. If you guys have stayed till the end now, I love you guys so much. I so appreciate it. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.